My own beginnings in science are really odd in that I didn't have an interest in science up until the age of 18 or so. I wasn't the type of child who built a telescope at the age of four or anything like that. For me, science at school was intensely boring, I have to say. It was all about rolling little wooden trolleys down benches and I didn't see the point of it. I then came to a point where um, I had encountered the Christian faith for the first time at the age of 17 and I had to decide what I needed to do at university. Now, I wanted to go to university, but to be honest, in those days, I didn't want to work very hard. I was reasonably good at mathematics, and so I decided to do physics because it would give me time to do other things. And what an extraordinary thing happened was that as I started to study physics from the perspective of a new Christian faith, I began to be more and more excited about the universe. Kepler once said that science is thinking God's thoughts after him. And it was a little like that for me. I began to be excited by the God who was revealed to me in the beauty and order of science. And the value of what he'd done, creation itself, became more and more exciting because I was being introduced to the one who created it through Jesus Christ. My own experience was that the two came together often very seamlessly without a great conflict between them. Now that's not to say that there haven't been difficult questions along the way. There were. I remember major struggles about trying to reconcile the first chapter of Genesis with the fact that I was working with a universe that was 13.7 billion years old. I remember major issues and struggles about the problem of evil and miracles. Indeed, it, the problem of evil I still struggle with. So it was a, a seamless relationship, but not without difficult questions. But I have to say that that those difficult questions in the end have been fruitful both to my excitement in science and my Christian faith rather than destructive.